So let's go back to our little uh, timeline here. It's March 1st, we set them up. 15 days later, they wake up. Um, I would argue, because I know this from experience, is that they only really need about 550 growing degree days um, for them to set main crop. Um, so that means I would estimate roughly a month into this. So if it's March 15th, fast forward another month, um, and it may not even be that much. It may actually be because my greenhouse, when I really blasted the trees with the space heater um, and try to really crank out that heat as much as possible, some of the trees after they woke up fruited within two weeks. Uh, others will fruit within three weeks. So I imagine this, we're gonna be conservative. We're gonna say that this is gonna fruit, some of these trees will form figs. You'll visibly see figs a month after they wake up. So uh, that puts us at April 15th. And then if we fast forward, once we visibly see the fruit, it depends on the variety, but it's anywhere from 70 to 110, 120 days before we'll see fruits, or I'm um, sorry, ripe fruits. So that means if we took March or April 15th and we added really three months, an average of 90 days, let's just use that as an estimate. Um, we're looking at May 15th, June 15th, July 15th. We're looking at a July 15th date for main crop in the Philadelphia area. That's conservative because if I had a variety like Ronde Bordeaux, probably is gonna set fruit within three weeks or two weeks after waking up. Um, so let's say it's even gonna get, it's gonna buy itself maybe let's say another week and it's also gonna fruit within 70 days. So that's another like two or three weeks. So we're looking at potentially even seeing Ronde Bordeaux or something like Improved Celeste or Malta Black or Campanieri or any of these very, like Pastelier, any of these very early varieties, we could see them by July 1st. And I, I don't think that's out of the question. Um, now, the greatest part about that is that I have ripened fruits here with the help of my greenhouse, doing just everything I just said, but using container trees and ripening them by actually July 1st consistently um, for years now. I think for like, this is my, that was my third year last year of doing that. Um, and I'll tell you this from experience, the fruits that you ripen in July versus the fruits that you would normally ripen in September is such a huge difference in quality. Um, in fact, here in July, it can be quite rainy. We still get a similar amount of rain, but uh, it is really quite warm. And in September, it really starts to cool down. Around September 15th, we start to enter that fall weather and we're, we're basically, at that point, it's a, it's a wash. We're really lucky to get any fruits. But if I can get as many fruits as possible at the highest quality possible before September 15th, then I've basically done the best I've could. 